Good evening, Sean Lafferty is off tonight. Following the arrest of a suspect in the Helen Vogt murder, we take a look at how DNA analysis helped investigators potentially solve this cold case. Chelsea Swift joins us in the control room after speaking with the experts about how forensic evidence could lead to a conviction. Chelsea. Jill, one local expert says advances in technology are helping investigators solve cold cases like the murder of Helen Vogt. Authorities arresting 55-year-old Jeremy Brock for allegedly stabbing and killing his grandmother Helen Vogt in 1988. In 1990, Jeremy Brock was arrested in Texas on other charges and samples of blood, saliva and hair were taken from the suspect. Decades later, authorities reopened the case and compared these samples to the DNA found in evidence from the murder crime scene. One local biology professor says this kind of DNA evidence can exclude suspects from the case. You can uh, essentially identify specific patterns in the DNA that are characteristic of a specific individual or a specific family at least. Authorities say a washcloth was found at the crime scene that contained blood from the victim as well as the suspect's DNA. The analysis also found Brock's DNA in the bloody surfaces inside the victim's home. Dr. Folk says advances in technology are helping investigators solve cold cases. The DNA evidence is really, really powerful in backing up that uh, a larger, broader case that includes many types of evidence. One local attorney explains how convincing DNA evidence can be when it comes to convicting a suspect. That DNA evidence, both in terms of events going forward in the future and in looking back, has been helpful in establishing justice, whether it's proving the innocence of someone wrongly convicted or prosecuting someone who's so far escaped justice. Purchase says DNA evidence can support a prosecutor's case. However, it is not always enough to make a conviction. It can be supplemented by other kinds of evidence like witnesses' testimony. Jill? Okay, Chelsea Swift, thank you.